It's that time of year again, where the air is getting colder, the nights are getting longer, and the days are getting shorter. But luckily, the loom is getting stronger. It's Lumoween 2022. Longtime viewers know what they got into when they clicked on this, but for all you newcomers, I'm Shane, this is Relative Time, and Lumoween is my annual special where I look back at the last year and pick out the top watches when it comes to loom. Lumoween is always one of my favorite videos to put together for the year. And I gotta say, this year, the loom is strong, with two new kings of loom being discovered this year. Now, in order to be included, the rules are pretty simple here. The first one is that it has to be a watch I've reviewed since the last Lumoween. And the second is that it has to have loom that excels in either creativity or pure strength with longevity. Although, having a good mixture of both is always a good thing. And the first watch on this list is a good example of that. Coming in at number 5, we have the Legato Diver from MW Timepieces. This is easily one of the more memorable watches from the year. And definitely one for those music lovers out there. As its design was directly inspired by a guitar, with its hollowed out indices, guitar string marked case back, and bezel complete with fretboard inspired design. This watch is beautiful, eye-catching, and very comfortable on the wrist. It's also one that really comes to life when the lights go out. From the mesmerizing bezel to the glowing circles on the dial, this is one that you'll love to look at time and time again. And luckily, there's enough loom here that you can do just that throughout the night. As in terms of longevity, it's able to keep up with most Seiko divers out there. So, while it may have an odd name, this is a watch with a fantastic balance between form and function. Now, one quick side note is that this is a Kickstarter watch from early in the year, and I believe production was supposed to have been done by now. So it's not currently available. I don't really have much more details than that, but hopefully the brand gets things back on track and gets everything worked out soon. Because this is one that people are going to love to have on their wrist. Now. Coming in at number four, we have a watch from a brand that's really been pushing the envelope when it comes to loom. Because it seems like every time a new watch comes out from the Swiss watch company, they've added a few more layers of loom. And with this one, the Hyper G, they used an unheard of 22 layers of X1 grade Swiss Super Luminova. That's right, 22 layers. However, the overkill didn't just stop there, as this pilot's watch also has a grade five titanium case with an extra scratch resistant coating as well as diamond cut hands with rhodium plating, soft iron core for anti-magnetic resistance, Salida SW200 movement, and 16 layers of AR coating, just so everything underneath that crystal comes through crystal clear. Now, the loom on the dial is good, easily keeping up with a Seiko diver. However, the hands here are on a whole other level. They go on and on and on, even outlasting the hands on the original King of Loom, the Phoebus Great Wall making these easily the best loomed hands I've ever seen. And when you throw those on a rather comfortable, lightweight watch, it's just icing on the cake. Moving on to number three, we have a watch with a rather unique and creative design. You've probably seen a fully loomed dial before, but I don't think you've seen one quite like this, where it's utilizing four different colors of Super Luminova to bring a topographical map to life. It's the Far and Swit Wayfinder Fully Loomed Quartz version which sits in a 42mm wide case and uses a sweeping Seiko VH31 movement, creating a rather interesting combo. And there's also a new north side version as well that's designed specifically for Cubs fans, as it displays a map of Wrigley Stadium and the surrounding area in Chicago. Then there's also an automatic version, which is no slouch when it comes to loom either. It may not be as colorful or maybe as interesting as the fully loomed versions, but no matter which version you pick, they blaze on into the darkness. These mid-sized divers are also fairly capable, and worth checking out if you want something a bit different, with the one weak point being a mere 100 meters of water resistance. But despite that, they have one of the most creative loom dials I've seen. Coming in at number two, we have one of the most impressive microband watches I've run across this year, and it's also the third king of loom. It's the Wise Watches Adamascus 88. This diver is definitely one that's on the dressier side of things, with its 904L steel case polished to the nines. Seriously, it's almost crazy how polished this thing is. However, its wavy textured pattern dial and superb attention to detail underneath that box crystal is what really grabs your attention. Just check out these macro shots. The whole thing is mesmerizing. 
and especially seeing the second hand glide right next to that shimmering chapter ring. It's a beautiful and comfortable 41mm diver. I just wish Wise had included a 904 hole bracelet to go with it. But other than that, they went the extra mile on almost everything here, and especially when it comes to loom, as the bright BGW9 of the dial and the hands just blaze on throughout the night, enough so that it can go toe to toe with both the Phoebus Great Wall and the Orient Star Diver. I'm not exactly sure how many layers Wise used here, but it's enough to make this one of the best watches I've ever seen and worthy of being a king of loom. Now, before we get to the top loom monster of the year, as usual, I have a couple of honorable mentions. The first of which is the Ikigai Maru. I got a chance to look at the prototype a few months ago, and it's easily one of the most creative loomed watches I've ever seen, and complete with a rather unusual loomed case. It's a very unique and awesome design, and one that got fully funded in Kickstarter in minutes. Although, while this one was very creative, it unfortunately wasn't that strong. So hopefully that's something Ikigai can work out for production. The second honorable mention is the San Martin 62 Moss Chrono, a watch that combines a 62 Moss homage with a mechanical chrono, and that is a bit of an unusual combination, especially considering Seiko never made anything like that. But while it's kind of odd sounding, it wound up being pretty awesome. This is probably my favorite San Martin to date, and as is the San Martin, you expect it to have good loom, which it does, and I'm including it here because it has the best loom I've ever seen on a chronograph so far. And lastly, I have one dishonorable mention, and that's the Seiko Save the Ocean Glacier Marine Master Reduced, which is one of the best dials I've ever seen on a Seiko, or any watch for that matter. It's pricey for what it is, but it is an awesome watch on the whole, with the weak performance of the loom being one of its few failures. To be clear here, I absolutely love this watch, I have no regrets for buying it, and I'd buy it again in a second. And in the real world, the loom is okay-ish. But when this premium diver is easily outpaced by Seiko's own entry-level divers, something is just wrong there, and it's just a damn shame. With that said, let's move on to the top loom monster of the year. And for those who've recently been watching the channel, this really shouldn't be any surprise. So, coming in at number one for 2022, we have the fourth king of loom, the Signum Cuda Titanium Fully Loomed. Long name, but they're worth checking out. I recently reviewed both the blue and orange versions, and while the design is rather subtle and kind of subdued during the day, creating just a straightforward, lightweight titanium-based tool watch, but these things are anything but subtle at night, as they are just crazy bright, with the blue version being especially impressive here. Seriously, I'm not really sure what voodoo magic Signum had to pull here, but whatever they did, it is well worth it. As these are not only some of the best fully loom dials I've ever seen, but they're also one of the best watches I've ever seen for loom, period. These things will go toe to toe with just about anything you throw at them. And I think it's worth pointing out that they just released a GMT version, so plenty of great and colorful options, and no matter which one you pick, it'll be one that'll warm any loom nut's heart. And with that, Lumoween 2022 comes to a close. As usual, let me know what you think about this, what you think about all of those watches, and if you know of another loom monster that really could use some attention. And if you want something else to help keep you in the holiday spirit, check out a link in the description. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Shane, this is Relative Time, and I'll see you next time.